Welcome to the FarmCam FarmCheck Sweat Patch Training Video. This is a short program designed to tell you about the FarmCheck Sweat Patch. During our time together, we will describe what the patch is made of and how it works. We will also discuss specific instructions on how to apply and how to remove the FarmCheck Sweat Patch. It has been known for a long time that drugs of abuse can be detected in sweat. Until the farm check sweat patch was developed, there was no convenient, consistent way to collect the sweat. The farm chem sweat patch is similar to a large bandage designed to collect drugs and sweat. The farm check drugs of abuse patch acts as a collector for non volatile components for sweat, including drugs of abuse. The patch consists of an adhesive plastic film that holds an absorption pad in place against the skin. The adhesive film of the patch is a semi-permeable barrier that allows oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water vapor to pass through so that the skin can breathe normally. Larger molecules, such as drugs, are trapped in the absorption pad portion of the patch. Contaminants from the environment cannot penetrate the adhesive barrier from the outside, so the patch can be worn during normal activities. This is what the farm check patch looks like. The top layer of the farm check sweat patch consists of a transparent covering. This covering is held to the skin by a hypoallergenic adhesive. The covering and the adhesive are manufactured by 3M. This substance is similar to the adhesive on bandages currently used in hospitals. Under the transparent covering is an absorption pad. This is the portion of the farm check sweat patch that collects the sweat components and is tested by the laboratory for the presence of drugs of abuse. Between the adhesive and the absorbent pad is the release liner. The release liner allows the absorbent pad to be removed from the sweat patch easily after the patch has been worn. Each farm check sweat patch has a unique number printed on the underside of the transparent covering. This patch ID number is the number that is used by you to track the sweat patch. It is not to be sent to the laboratory. The farm check sweat patch is designed to collect the components of sweat, including drugs of abuse. Air and water vapor go through the covering of the patch. Liquid, water, bacteria, drugs, and other contaminants cannot enter the patch from the outside. The farm check sweat patch does not deliver any medications or chemicals to the body. It simply traps the drug metabolite and the parent drug molecules in the absorbent pad for analysis in the laboratory. The farm check sweat patch tests for cocaine, opiates, amphetamine, methamphetamine, PCP, and marijuana. The sweat patch detects not only the drug metabolite, but also the parent drug. The farm check sweat patch provides a continuous monitoring 24 hours a day, 7 days per week, and retains drugs used any time during the wear period. The sweat patch has been designed for long-term wear, from 10 to 14 days. The sweat patch cannot be diluted and is very tamper-evident. The application and removal procedures are easy and can be done without special facilities. After you receive your farm check patches, store them at room temperature and avoid excessive heat and humidity. The farm check sweat patch is designed to be worn a minimum of 24 hours. This assures that enough sweat can be absorbed by the patch to provide a specimen for testing in the laboratory. The maximum recommended wear time for the patch is 10 to 14 days. The person wearing the patch can perform normal activities such as bathing, showering, participation in sports, or swimming. The farm check sweat patch should receive the same degree of care that one would take with a conventional bandage. When drying after a shower or bath, blot the patch. Do not rub the towel over it. Let's begin the application procedures. 
Before you apply the Farm Check Sweat Patch, you will need these materials. A Farm Check Sweat Patch, at least two alcohol wipes, disposable gloves for the individual who is applying the Farm Check Sweat Patch, and a chain of custody form. The left side of the chain of custody form must be completed when the Farm Check Sweat Patch is applied to the donor. Begin by completing the observer's name, the donor's name, and the donor's identification number. Now the patch ID number should be recorded for identification purposes on the chain of custody form. This is the number that is printed on the sweat patch. The date the sweat patch is applied should also be recorded. Both parties need to verify the information and initial the chain of custody form. Mark the treatment or status reason for specimen information. You are now ready to apply the patch to the donor's body. The first step is to select the area where the patch is to be worn. The Farm Check Sweat Patch can be worn on any of these three body areas. The upper outer arm, the lower midriff, or the lower back. The upper outer arm is the most common and the most convenient area for patch application. Do not place the Farm Check Sweat Patch over skin that has obvious sores, cuts, scars, ulcerations, or skin irritations such as acne. The sweat patch can be placed over tattoos if the tattoo is light in color and does not contain any obvious scar tissue. The area for application should not have excessive hair, wrinkles, or be rubbed by tight clothing. If the donor has excessive body hair, do not shave the area. Instead, use an alternate body site location for the sweat patch or use standard urine testing. After choosing the area to apply the patch, you must thoroughly and aggressively clean a section of skin larger than the size of the patch with at least two 70% isopropyl alcohol wipes. There are two alcohol wipes supplied for each Farm Check sweat patch in your kit. The alcohol removes skin oil, dirt, and dead skin cells. Therefore, it is important that you aggressively clean the area of the skin prior to applying the Farm Check sweat patch. Using a gloved hand, thoroughly cleanse the area with at least two alcohol pads. Be sure the area is completely clean by observing the surface of the second alcohol pad. If the pad surface is slightly discolored, continue to clean the skin surface with a fresh alcohol pad until the pad surface is clean and free of discoloration. Make sure you let the skin dry for at least 60 to 90 seconds before applying the Farm Check Sweat Patch. If the alcohol is not dry, the sweat patch will not adhere to the skin. If the alcohol is not completely evaporated, it may cause an alcohol burn or reddening of the skin surface. The next step is to remove the patch from the sealed wrapper. Be sure the number on the patch shows right side up so it can be easily read. Instruct the donor to flex their arm muscle. This will allow the skin where the patch will be applied to be stretched. This will keep the patch adhering to the skin when the muscles are flexed and avoid a mechanical injury to the skin. Remove the backing from the patch and apply the patch to the skin. Now press the patch against the skin. Rub your index finger around the clear area surrounding the absorbent pad for 10 seconds. This will assure that the sweat patch adheres well to the skin. Find the slit in the border remaining on the patch. Gently peel off this border. As you peel the border away from the edge of the patch, rub your index finger around the edge of the patch several times. This presses the edges of the patch to the skin, assuring good adhesion. The client can now relax their arm. Now the observer must sign the chain of custody form in the area marked Observer Completes.
If the patch is going to be worn on the lower midriff, have the person who is to wear the patch lean backwards slightly to stretch the skin. If the patch is going to be worn on the lower back, have the person wearing the patch lean slightly forward. Place the chain of custody form in the appropriate file and instruct the donor as to what day they are to return for the removal of the farm check sweat patch. The important points to remember when applying the farm check sweat patch are Choose the area where you will apply the patch. Thoroughly and aggressively clean the skin. The patch will adhere best to skin that has been cleansed of oils, dirt, and dried skin cells. Make sure the patch adheres well to the skin surface. The patch is easy to apply, but you must remember to press the patch to the skin so that the adhesive adheres completely.